Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Awesome Finds. Today I will be doing something a little different in that I will be showcasing releases from viewers like you. That's right, fans of this channel have sent me their records over the past year or so, and I've gotten enough of them to where I thought I should showcase them all for you. And what I think is really awesome is that all of these releases are self-produced. And so, you know, that takes a lot of effort and it's not cheap and I really admire that. So congratulations for putting all these records out. It's, it's a pretty amazing thing to do. It's something I wish I had done with my band, but never got the chance to, but never say never, who knows? I've been thinking about doing a seven inch of, anyway, let's get into these albums. First up, we have the Electric Ferrets with their album, Psychedelic Punk Rock Band. This was originally released in 2019 on Get Hip Recordings, and obviously this is a send-up or a tribute to Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band by the Beatles, and that really, I think, is the stepping stone for the exploration of music that they do here. You never know what's gonna come next. There is so much variety on this album from track to track. It always kept me guessing, variety of styles, but if I were to put it in a nutshell, I would say that overall, it has a real fun, punk-inspired, psych rock type album. Uh, but they go in all sorts of different directions, and I would say lyrically, they really shine here. They, they, such whimsical lyrics. It's it, it it's so much fun to listen to what they're singing about. Uh, for instance, there's a song on here, "Attack of the Giant Lobsters from the Deep." I mean, right there should give you a clue of the kind of music you'll be hearing on here. Uh, you know, not really tongue in cheek, but just sort of um, having fun with wordplay. If 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 that makes any sense to you. And I gotta say too, uh, the production on here is fantastic. The overall arrangement of the instruments is very, very good here. There is a ton going on, but none of it really uh, overpowers the other instruments. You know what I mean? It's, it's very well produced. I'll show you guys the vinyl itself. It is a double LP, by the way. Actually, before I do that, I should show you the inside gatefold here. And then there's the back. And it also came with some extra goodies here. Includes this, uh, a small poster of the band there. And this pretty cool comic book, Jefferson Aeronaut and his Psychedelic Biplane Adventure, number 20, 29, with the Shrinking Man. There's the inside, there's the back there. I'll go ahead and show you guys the records themselves. This comes on colored vinyl, record one is on this green color there is side one side two record two is on this purple color you have side three and side four there's one cover on here that i really wanted to showcase and it is on side three voices of green and purple and that is a fantastic song the original is fantastic too but i really like what they do with this uh and uh, yeah, so if you're interested in picking up a copy, you still can, but keep in mind, they only pressed 500 of these, so get them while you can. Moving on, we have the John Buxton Experience Portal to Heck. I believe this came out in 2020, at least it was recorded in 2020. Um, this is a tribute to the 90s punk I grew up with. So just real hard hitting, unrelenting. He's got a commanding voice. Uh, his style of music really reminds me of these local bands I would go see back in the day. So I, I have an affinity for the music he's playing on here. And I say him because it, it he plays all the instruments from drums, guitar to bass. It's pretty impressive. I love these song titles, by the way, too. A Disastrous Introduction, Frenzy, Balls of Energy, Pillar of Salt, Scream for the Night, Going Mad. It came with an insert photo. And then you have uh, credits and thank yous. Show you guys the record itself. Here we are, side A and side B. Overall, this is the kind of music I love to work out to. It's got tons of energy, thumping bass, driving guitars. It's just a good time. Moving on, we have the debut album by the band Amphison titled Cypress. This is from 2020, and this is largely the group of one guy, Ivan. 
This is a total tribute to 70s prog rock. So if you like bands like Yes, ELO, King Crimson, Genesis, this is gonna be totally up your alley because it was totally up my alley. The second Renaissance has gotta be my favorite off of here. It had such a cool vibe about it. And the acoustic guitar on here just, it, uh, just, it took me places. This whole album takes me places. It's very, very transportive. Love the keyboards on Silverline. Uh, Ivan pretty much uh, sings on most of these tracks. He does most of the instruments on here. He does have help from uh, on, on a few of these tracks. And it is just a really well-crafted, well-produced, well-arranged album from start to finish. And I just thoroughly enjoyed it. It, it, was, it was very, very surprising to me. Here is the cover art. I'll just unfold that all together there. We have side A and there is side B. Up next, we have Seraphic Love with their 2020 self-titled album. I'm not sure where, the, where this is in her discography, but it doesn't matter because this is a very well recorded album. I love the sound of this. This is a tribute to late 60s psych rock and they do it so very well. The tone of their instruments is methodical. They have narrowed in on that sound and they do it so very well. And the arrangements are fantastic. Even down to the copyright, 1969 uh, Serpentine Records. You know what I mean? They, they have an affinity, a love for this era of rock and it totally shows. It also came with a printed inner sleeve with more photos of the band. And there's a nice band photo, all, all of them together there. Um, I'll show you the record real quick. There's side one, there's side two. I just want to mention too that my favorite song on here is Tolkien, which is a tribute to Lord of the Rings, mythology, that sort of a thing. And I just love listening to music steeped in that lore. And uh, you gotta check it out. If you're a Lord of the Rings fan, definitely check out this album. Moving right along, we have a soundtrack to a film that does not exist. This is done by a band out of Australia called Tiger Beams. This is from 2021 and um, this is really cool. I love the concept of this. The first song on here, Bells, is their single. So there's some vocals on here and it's very much an early, to me it sounds like an early 2000s dance punk uh, song, if that makes sense. Uh, the rest of the songs on here are instrumentals and they have a real kind of dystopian club feel, if that makes sense. Just uh, just a real sort of like heavy, heavy on the synths, uh, lots of energy. Uh, a little foreboding, a little uh, little dystopian in a way. Like this is not happy, fun, go lucky kind of music. This is like, oh crap, things are getting bad and are gonna get worse kind of music. Real fun to listen to. Uh, I, I love the creativity that went on with this, even down to the artwork. To me, uh, I don't know if this is, offensive to you guys, uh, who, Tiger Beams, but uh, to me, this is the kind of music that would fit perfectly with a film like Johnny Mnemonic, which is, uh, I love that movie. I don't care what you say. I, I absolutely adore that film. And so I mean that in the best possible way. This is sort of that um, retro futurism kind of music. Like, you know what I mean? That's that, it, it's not, Outrun, it's not like synth wave, it's its own kind of thing. And I, I really, I really, I really got into it uh, over this year. And here's the vinyl itself. There is side A and there is side B. This is just a, a fun, intense ride and it uh, goes by quick. Each of these songs is only about two minutes each. So uh, yeah, it's, it's a fun ride, check it out. Up next, we have the self-titled release by First Boy on the Moon from 2021. They are a Swedish indie rock band and I really like their blend of late 80s, early 90s alternative rock with sort of modern indie rock sensibilities sprinkled throughout. Uh, really catchy guitar hooks, driving bass and drums, and stellar vocals. They are a very well arranged, put together band. Uh, I really enjoy their energy. And yeah, this is just a joy to listen to. Put a smile on my face. There's the back there of the cover. Uh, they did send a press release. 
uh, with a handwritten note from David, the band's founder. He's originally from Huntington Beach, which isn't that far away, but I guess now he lives in Europe. So pretty cool. And I'll show you guys the vinyl itself. I love this graphic art too, by the way. Let's see here. If I could figure out, I believe this is side A. And that should be side B. And last but not least, we have my friend Ceramic Animal with their third album, High End, from 2020. Now, I've already talked about this album before because they were kind enough to send me a test pressing, my very first one. Uh, but I never had the official release, and this artwork is just gorgeous. And uh, I had the chance to actually hang out with Eric and Elliot uh, when I was back east in Pennsylvania. I just happened to be really close to where they live and we got to hang out and, and we talked about their next album that's coming out uh, in 2022, which I'm very excited about because they are working with Easy Eye Sound out of uh, Tennessee, I believe. I'll show you guys the vinyl real quick. This comes on a stunning, stunning uh, mix tricolor. I don't even know what you call that. Just a beautiful, beautiful mix of colors there. There is side A and there is side B. A couple of years ago, the band came by the vinyl pad and we had a great time just hanging out, chatting. Uh, check out that video if you haven't already, but at the very least, check out their latest single. It's for their upcoming fourth album that will be released through Easy Eye Sound. So I'm very, very excited for these guys. And uh, yeah, especially check out this album. I, I think all their albums are great, but they keep getting better with every one. And so uh, yeah, definitely check out High End. Well, everybody, that will do it for today. I really, really, really want to thank all of these bands and artists for sending me your music. I, I know how hard it is to write and to record and to self-produce your music, plus all the complications of trying to get this stuff out on vinyl. It is not cheap, nor is it easy. And so I, I am humbled by you sending me your music, and I, I really had a thrill listening to it and it's just it's i i love it so thank you thank you very much and those of you who are watching please do yourself a favor and check out all of these artists check out their music support them as they support my channel and together we'll make this cool little vinyl rewind love circle going on you know what i mean all right everybody that will do it for today i want to thank all of you for watching but again i want to especially thank these bands and artists i am your vinyl geek and i'll catch you on the flip side.